just want to say thanks for having me here at Indicate. I'm pretty humbled and uh, I think it's pretty awesome that everybody is still remembering my games after 20 years. Um, is this thing on? Okay. Um, so, uh, in talking about the, the modifiability of, of uh, our games, um, it's interesting to note that um, one of the uh, one of the I guess uh, tenets of of, uh, of people who have done something for a long time, let's say making games or or uh, cooking food in the kitchen, etc., um, you get to a point where uh, uh, always be cleaning is something that's very important to the process of doing what you do. And uh, in a kitchen, a really great chef basically cleans up all the time. And in, uh, in game programming, uh, we're always trying to clean uh, our, keep, keep our core uh, source code clean of, of random code that doesn't belong, or commented code that doesn't, that shouldn't be there, um, and also files that shouldn't exist that aren't being used again, or aren't being used in your game, um, you know, because it just clutters up everything and it's not really indicative of, of what the game is about if you just have random garbage sitting around. So we're always cleaning up the files that we use that, are, that aren't being used, and, um, and keeping the file size small uh, and keeping the number of files small is really, really important. It was actually uh, on the Apple II, Games on the Apple II were basically one big file, typically, and it was it, it was almost like just the memory <coughs> of, of the game in memory. And so when you ran a game on the Apple II, you're running one file. Um, and uh, and when the games were cracked, they were cracked as just one file. So I got very used to um, running games that were just one file, and that just seemed very nice and clean to me. And, and John Carmack and Tom Hall were also edited software. So. Um, when we were making our games on the PC, we wanted to keep our file count very small. Um, and, and even when we were making our own games on the Apple II, we tried to just make them as just one file. So that kind of goes counter to the modifiability thing, which is uh, like pulling out the data from that code. Because when we were making our games, we put the, code, the data in the code. We put it together into one big file. Um, and so uh, that's, what, that's kind of how we deliver our games at the very beginning. But as soon as we started making our, uh, like the engine concept, where we decided, you know, we're gonna reuse this piece of code to make multiple games. Um, basically back in the day, everybody would just write the game from scratch over and over again. And we kind of we kind of did that with our games as well. Like we, when we were gonna make a, a game series like Commander Keen, um, we would make, an engine, but then we would make it so the, the, the data was separated from it, and then it would be three chunks of data, basically. Um, and uh, even with Commander Keen, we kept the data separate uh, from the code, but it was also multiple files. Um, there were you know, discrete level files uh, with Commander Keen, so people could, they couldn't really modify those levels because we compressed them because they needed to fit on a disk, and that really did help the modifiability of the games because the compression that we used was um, was was kind of linked into the executable itself. So you'd have to break the executable apart to, to, to decode the data, and that was just really difficult to do. But when we uh, released Wolfenstein, um, we used the same kind of uh, compression method, but people wanted to modify Wolfenstein so badly that they started cracking that compression method, which was very difficult to do because they had to decompress multiple ways to get to the data. And we use different methods of compression that were even customized beyond the, the <coughs> standard versions of those compression methods. So people really, when they when they cracked Wolfenstein's levels, that was when we were like, wow, this is hardcore cracking. Like anyone who did this, it's, it's akin to basically uh, cracking copy protected disks on an Apple II using quarter tracking. So it was really difficult and we're like, they want to modify our games really bad. We need to just open this up. Like they need to, they need to do what they want with it. Um, but we also need to retain the image of, or like the original of the game. If if um, if you talk about you know an actual painter's painting in a in a in a museum and people wanting to make a you know change the painting, you'd have to make a copy of that original painting. Otherwise, you've ruined the original and it can never be used again. So with the uh, with Doom, um, we created a file format called WAD. Where's all the data? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of data, but we needed something to the, you know, for the letters to make sense. And 
and then uh, in the source you made GOF files, and everybody kind of copied that idea. Um, but inside the WAD, we identified the original data, like the original painting, the original game, as IWADs, and the mm -hmm. ones that people created that were separate from our stuff as PWADs. So the modifications of everybody else were, were identified differently. So we knew always what the original was. Um, and that's probably not a significant point uh, in, in the discussion of it, but to us it was, it was like, what is the original data? It can't be changed. So, uh, so anyway, you know, we were, we were very uh, excited to see what people would do after the, you know, we knew that there would be more mods when we opened it up versus Wolfenstein, which had several mods, but it was hard to break. Uh, Doom, we just opened it up, and then that's where the community really exploded. Um, also with the demos, talking about demo reporting and sharing demos. Um, we actually created all the demo reporting uh, code um, in our Commander Keen game. And we basically kept the same file, uh, the, the command line commands to report and all that, but we only used it to show gameplay as like an arcade or track mode. We didn't actually let players record their own demos, but we could have if we, if we just allowed that to, to happen. Um, but not until Doom did we actually open that for people to report.